Happiness is more about subtraction than addition. Sure, it's easy to think that a few life hacks, breathing exercises, and affirmations are going to transform everything. But it's far easier to be happy in life when you're not actively engaged in making yourself unhappy. So rather than adding more things to your life, it's far more effective and practical to eliminate what hurts our happiness in the first place. It's not the daily increase but daily decrease. Hack away at the unessential. Said by Bruce Lee. While there are plenty of things that can affect your happiness, here are the 8 simple things you can remove that made the biggest impact. Number 1. Remove negative information. Many people get accustomed to negativity, stress, and frustration whether it's from their social circle or what they see. Stopped watching and reading the news. You do make exceptions for major events of serious impact, but you generally avoid all news. First, it's a massive stressor. From a study by the American Psychological Association. More than half of Americans say the news causes them stress, and many report feeling anxiety, fatigue or sleep loss as a result, the survey shows. Yet 1 in 10 adults checks the news every hour, and fully 20% of Americans report constantly monitoring their social media feeds which often exposes them to the latest news headlines, whether they like it or not. Consuming negative headline after negative headline can make you far more worried, anxious, and sad. For example, some Westerners think poorly about regions like Africa because, frankly, the media only shows bad news from there. But if they visited, they would see it's nowhere near as bad and locals can actually be happy. Here's another important reason, most news doesn't affect you at all. For example, a hit and run in another town, a drug bust, a sex scandal, someone killing themselves, etc. You only have limited mental energy each day, why waste it on negative things you have no control over? This isn't about ignorance, it's about knowing that certain things just aren't worth the impact on your mental health. Number 2. Remove the bottom 20% from your life. The 80 20 rule suggests that 20% of causes create 80% of effects. That's why every few months you should do an 80 20 analysis and ask two questions. What are the 20% of things that cause 80% of my unhappiness? What are the 20% of things that cause 80% of my happiness? Just by removing two or three things you don't like, you will notice your life gets significantly and instantly better. Sure, it's helpful to be calm and accept annoyances you can't control, but there's no need to be a masochist if you can avoid them, why not? Be ruthless. This is your life we're talking about. Number 3. Remove negative people. Of all the self-improvement quotes, none impacted my life more than this. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Said by Jim Rohn. If you surround yourself with negative, unhappy, and unambitious people, they will bring you down to their level no matter how hard you try. You cannot out-willpower your environment so, if you want to change, you have to change your environment first. Do not underestimate the power of your social circle. In a 75-year study from Harvard, researchers found that relationships are the strongest factor in a life of happiness and health, try using the 80 20 rule, which 20% of your friends or family cause 80% of your unhappiness, self-doubt, anger, etc. Find the sources of your negativity, have honest conversations respectfully, and create boundaries to protect yourself. Removing toxic relationships transformed my happiness almost instantly. Number 4. Remove the desire to prove yourself. There's nothing wrong with having big, ambitious goals. But you have noticed that many people pursue lofty goals in order to prove something to others and, more importantly, to themselves. They care so much about what people think about them, yet they also care about proving their self-worth, showing they're at a certain level, and validating their existence. Sure, you can improve my communication skills, be more tolerant of others, be kinder, be more patient, be less judgmental, and more. To eliminate the tendency to prove myself, I regularly ask. If I could never tell a single person about my achievements, would I still pursue them? If my journey of self-improvement doesn't make me a better person, would I still do it? By removing my chase for an imaginary standard of excellence, I did things purely for enjoyment and love, which made it a lot easier to be happy. Number 5. Remove your attachments. Some people believe they can't be happy until they have certain things wealth, 
health, relationships, possessions, etc. But that doesn't hold up under psychology. Ultimately, if they can't be happy without those things, then they can't be happy with them. That's not to say you should never try to achieve anything in life. Instead, you should try to reach goals without making my happiness depend on them in other words, without attaching my happiness to them. It creates far more freedom, ease, and peace. Number 6. Remove Perfectionism. Perfection is unattainable, so trying to achieve it is a waste of your time. Instead of worrying about mistakes that you have made or physical flaws that bother you, simply focus on trying to better yourself with small steps. No one is perfect, but anyone can make the decision to be a better person. Number 7. Remove the need to control everything. You can't control everything, and trying to do so is a futile task. It won't help you to become more successful, but it will make you feel stressed, upset and frustrated. Instead of trying to control everything around you, make an effort to care less about the things you can't control and focus on the things that you can. Number 8. Reduced Social Media Usage The problem with social media is there's a tendency to become depressed and unhappy with your own life. In a recent study, Canadian and Australian researchers stated, the most important finding of the post hoc analyses was that increased social media and television use were associated with lower self-esteem over time. Taking into account the upward social comparison, it might be that repeated exposure to idealized images on social media and television decreases self-esteem. However, according to our results, the reinforcing spirals only applies to depressive symptoms and not self-esteem, suggesting cognitive and mood-exacerbating effects of social media. Generally, on social media, people only share the best things that happen. And while there's nothing wrong with that, as Dr. Meg Jay wrote in The Defining Decade, people start to feel unhappy with their own lives in comparison. Rather than a way of catching up, Facebook can be one more way of keeping up. What's worse is that now we feel the need to keep up not just with our closest friends and neighbors, but with hundreds of others whose manufactured updates continually remind us of how glorious life should be. Summary of this video Number 1 Negative information can cause a lot of stress and depression, so take action by cutting out the news and limiting social media usage. Number 2 Use the 80 20 rule to see which 20% of things cause 80% of your unhappiness and find ways to remove them from your life. Number 3 Relationships are the biggest factor for your health and well-being. Use the 80 20 rule again to see which 20% of your social circle is causing 80% of your unhappiness and find ways to create boundaries with them. Number 4. Stop trying to be perfect and stop trying to prove yourself as worthy. Do more things for yourself and keep more announcements to yourself. Number 5. Stop attaching your happiness to your achievements, goals, possessions, etc. and step off the hedonic treadmill. Number 6. Perfection is unattainable, so trying to achieve it is a waste of your time. Number 7. You can't control everything, and trying to do so is a futile task. Number 8. The problem with social media is there's a tendency to become depressed and unhappy with your own life. Hey thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.